the many reasons people are so excited about generative AI right now is that it allows you to prototype applications really fast. With the right tools, you can experiment with new ideas in minutes instead of months. So let's dive in and check out Generative AI Studio, which lets you quickly explore and customize generative AI models that you can leverage in your applications on Google Cloud. You can find Generative AI Studio in the Vertex AI section of the Cloud Console and select the type of content for your use case. To get started experimenting with large language models or LLMs, click on New Prompt. In the world of generative AI, a prompt is just a fancy name for the input text that you feed to your model. You can get one of these models to take on all sorts of different behaviors based on how you structure your prompt. This art and science of figuring out the best prompt for your use case is called prompt design, and it often involves a lot of experimentation. But that's where Generative AI Studio is here to help. Let's start with a freeform prompt. One way to design a prompt is to simply tell the model what you want. In other words, provide an instruction. For example, generate a list of items I need for a camping trip to Joshua Tree National Park. We send this text to the model, and you can see that the model outputs a useful list of items we wouldn't want to camp without. This approach, writing a single command to get the LLM to take on a certain behavior, is called zero-shot prompting. Now, LLMs are particularly good at identifying and completing patterns. So in addition to writing an instruction, it can be helpful to add some examples and show the model what you want. That's where few-shot prompting comes in. In this approach, you provide the model with a few examples. And to make it easier, you can use a structured prompt template. The structured prompt contains a few different components. First, we have the context, which instructs how the model should respond. You can specify words the model can or cannot use, topics to focus on or avoid, or a particular response format. And the context applies each time you send a request to the model. So let's say we want to use an LLM to answer questions based on some background text. In this case, a passage describing changes in rainforest vegetation in the Amazon. We can paste in the background text as context, and then we add some examples of questions that could be answered from this passage. Like, what does LGM stand for? Or what did the analysis from the sediment deposits indicate? We'll need to add in the corresponding answers to these questions to demonstrate how we want the model to respond. Then, we can test out the prompt we've designed by sending a new question as input. And there you go. You've prototyped a Q&A system based on background text in just a few minutes. It's important to note that adding instructions and a few examples tends to yield good results. But at the end of the day, there's currently no best way to write a prompt. Experimenting with prompts is a core part of being a generative AI developer. You'll want to try out different structures and formats and examples and really just see what works best for your use case and the specific model you're working with. So if you've designed a prompt that you think is working pretty well, you can save it and return to it later. Your saved prompt will be visible in the prompt gallery, which is a curated collection of sample prompts that show how generative AI models can work for a variety of use cases. Finally, in addition to trying out different prompts and prompt structures, there are a few model parameters you can experiment with to try to improve the quality of responses. First, there are different models you can choose from. Each model is tuned to perform well on specific tasks. You can also specify the temperature, top P, and top K. These parameters all adjust the randomness of responses by controlling how the output tokens are selected. When you send a prompt to the model, it produces an array of probabilities over the words that could likely come next. And from this array, we need some strategy to decide what to return. A simple strategy might be to select the most likely word at every time step, but this method can result in uninteresting and sometimes repetitive answers. On the flip side, if we were to randomly sample over the distribution returned by the model, you might get some unlikely responses. By controlling the degree of randomness, you can get more unexpected and some might even say creative responses. You've now written your first prompt with Vertex Generative AI Studio. There are a lot of other features to explore, like vision capabilities, chat, and model tuning for when you want some extra customization. 
but more on all of that next time. Check out the links below to learn more about generative AI on Vertex and to learn more about large language models. Thanks for watching and definitely let us know in the comments below what you're building with generative AI.